And now to a career to remember, our Mike Jacobs will retire at the end of May. And to honor his life's work, we're going to take a look back at a story he filed in 1996 from the Olympics in Atlanta. Well, the mood is uh, festive here at Centennial Park again this evening, but I must tell you when it op opened bright and early this morning, there were some somber moments because of a memorial service that was held here. The site of the bombing has become a memorial to the victims. Flowers and an American flag mark the site. People came here to grieve over lost lives and the lost innocence of the summer games. Many groups held their own impromptu memorial services. Gloria Skopinski of Greendale felt compelled to be here today. I'm very patriotic and I just want to see it reopened and have a positive feeling like I did before. The city of Atlanta held a memorial service at Centennial Park today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now our pleasure to declare reopened Centennial Olympic Park. Thank you and have a great time. There is a greater police presence here. Bomb-sniffing dogs patrol the grounds, and Tony Shaja of Mondovi, Wisconsin, got to experience the new bag checks for people entering the park. We welcome all the security checks, and it's everything's gone smoothly. Good morning. How you doing? Okay. Even so, the system is not foolproof. I tested it by removing my credentials and trying to get through. Here's what happened. The fact is, I walked right through and nobody even bothered to check this fanny pack. Nothing in it but batteries, so nothing harmless, but it just goes to show that they are not checking everything as thoroughly as you might uh, want to believe. There are no metal detectors here, and while security is tighter, any terrorist determined to get in probably can. But tonight, the focus is on the positive. The games will go on. The Olympic rings fountain has been turned on again, a reminder of happier days gone by, and a symbol of hope for the days that lie ahead. One final footnote from Centennial Park tonight. A gold medal speed skater, Bonnie Blair of Pewaukee, was here speaking at a fundraiser. They raised several thousand dollars, the proceeds of which will go to the daughter of the woman who was killed in that blast late Friday night. Okay, that was Jake's report from 1996. We will have the story behind the story coming up tonight on Live at 10. And on Wisconsin Tonight, five-time gold medalist Bonnie Blair, one of Jake's favorite interviews, joins us to talk about what it takes to become an Olympic athlete. Gotta love Bonnie Blair. No. She's great. Until the end of May, until Jake says goodbye, you can look forward to more <laughs> lookbacks just like that. Coming up.